I was just talking to the bridesmaids and uh -huh. Becky, and I said, uh, who's gonna cry first? And then everyone went, Keith. Yeah. Keith. I've always known I loved you, but I didn't know that I couldn't live without you until I moved away from you for a year. And I just desperately need you to take care of me because I'm a mess all the time. <laughs> Morning. The Try Guys are all here in Chicago, Illinois, where apparently the lake looks like an ocean. Did not know that. You know, I've never been in a wedding before. We're here for Keith's wedding. He's getting married to Becky, finally. And all of the Try Guys are groomsmen. So the wedding is about to start. Everyone is going uh, to, in their seats. They're filing in. And we don't actually know what we're supposed to be doing right now. We were mostly just vlogging during the rehearsal, so. We're at the rehearsal, the rehearsal. lunch. I showed up wearing maroon, but then I changed. I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh, we really, yeah. we have Oh, we could have had a maroon moment. Ned's moment. doing his best Eugene impression. <laughs> I'm doing my other best center. Eugene impression. And I'm just Eugene. Come down to the middle and then you separate. Have you ever seen <laughs> Gene and I uh, explored Chicago for the first time. Here's a quick Instagram story montage. <laughs> Here. Hashtag here. to have and to hold. Stop. Hashtag Stop. Becky with the good yeah. I like beef, but you have to say like Good morning, man. Good morning. We look exactly the yes, same. Yes, we do. I thought we were supposed to be dressed. No, we, we get dressed as part of the thing. Six hours to go. It's the morning of the wedding. Yes. Some things have happened. Uh, I no. said not to come fully dressed. I, yeah, I didn't read that part. Why? There are a lot of text threads that were Take on. Take your clothes off, Zach. We are five and a half hours out, and a groomsman has no pants. Mom, hey, um, I, I don't need, I, I just gotta go to the store, all right? It's all right. There's nothing we can do except for me going to the store now. And one of the best men. Brian is one of the best yeah. men. He uh, brought his pants in to get pressed, and the cleaner gave it back. And, and the pants are missing. You gotta go to the store and find some pants. I don't know if you're gonna find, yeah. it's really hard to find these blues. I mean, you might be able to. Oh, well, I better fucking try. Cleaners are closed, so can't get pants. Guys, well, I'm just going yeah. to get it right. <clears throat> yeah. That's the just time? the only option. The other option is you can find really interesting pants that match well, maybe you and Mark wear them so that it's like a best yeah, man best situation. Man <clears throat> because if there's two, it's a choice. If there's one, it's a mistake. Eugene. Chaos. Brian's pants are missing. Brian right now is sitting outside the shop. It opens at 11. They tried to get into the cleaners. Can't get in. Closed. They're closed on Sunday. Tried to get the cleaner's home number and get to their house. They're very private people. Fuck. I mean, his options are, are what right now? Um, I mean, break into the cleaners. Yeah. Or check every suit store within a 10 mile radius of this wedding venue and hope that somebody has this sweet color. I'm trying to remain calm. Nothing but a little wedding morning drama. <laughs> I hope the, the, the bridesmaids are doing better. Yay! Wait, where's everyone's Millers? Woo! We are so Midwestern and bad. Master Choli! That goes from a comedy to a tragedy. Real quick. All right, so we got some option photos for replacement pants. These aren't really great. These are not the right color. I, I feel like Eugene's plan is the best plan where finding one that looks like a choice and having both Mark and Brian, because you know, otherwise Brian's just yeah. gonna stick out. Gonna stick stick out really, them. Yeah, yeah. Becky's not gonna like that. That's yeah. pants. That's suit. That, yeah, that's, that's they're totally like different. Black and blue, red and gold situation. Hey, Keith. Hey. Um, I feel like someone's quickly checking on the bridesmaids, right? Roll call. Let's do it. Hannah. How do you know Becky? Uh, we went to college together and got drunk and studied theater. Roll call. Yeah. I'm Natalie, I'm Becky's maid of honor. Oh, oh, oh. Roll call. Oh, we're walking down the aisle together. We're walking down yeah. the aisle together. Hi, I'm Christine. Mandy, and I met Becky after college. Bridesman. Hi. Name. I'm Jesus. I was Becky's roommate in college. Yay. I'm Michael, I'm Becky's brother. Becky's brother! <laughs> Becky, the beautiful bride to be. How you feeling? Good. Getting my makeup done. Oh. Looking dewy, looking fresh. What's your favorite memory that you have with Keith, like man to man? Oh, man to man, you know. Yeah. Uh, have you ever like broed out? Yeah, no, I, I used to go down to ISU with Becky and Keith and uh, yeah, it was always a good time. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good I guy. feel like you're very yeah. calm. Thank you. 
I can't find my tux jewelry! This doesn't make any sense. It's okay. Try uh, Joseph A. Bank, then try Men's Warehouse. We need to be trying harder to get a hold of whoever owns that laundromat. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, you should probably just get into touch with the owners or find stuff. I don't know how line. they can do I know, that. I know Brian's mom was trying to do that. I don't know what her She's probably trying to do well, Brian's mom ain't Chicago. us. Hello. We got it. They're in the, it's like a north suburb. It's by Alex, Alex has your pants. Away. Well, let's take a break. Wait, what? What? Okay. <laughs> I'll get them and steam them. And uh, I think you just left them in Alex's Everything's room. okay. Great, we'll see you soon. What? What? They were hung up in our closet. They must have fallen off the hanger in the closet. Mm. And so when Bewo grabbed it last night, uh, didn't notice that the pants were not there. Pants were on the floor in the closet, not, about 100 feet away. So this is, there's no problem. There's Wait, no problem. So what, how did we... <laughs> wow! Oh, how did oh we it's a wedding day but miracle! Oh, is the groom steaming his best man's <laughs> pants right now? It's kind of the opposite of how it's supposed to go. <laughs> what do groomsmen do while you wait? Video games. You're gonna put this on the plate, Ned, and you're gonna take it, and you're gonna put it in that where that room has all those arrows. Got They're it. making Woo! a whole bunch of onion right, soup, uh, oh, soup. in right, what so must be plate. the most romantic game of all time. I'm taking you this bowl. Take that bowl. Right? I just played some soup. How booted. That's what I'm talking about. Legend of Zelda cuffs over here. Oh no, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, push it down. <laughs> what are you doing, Eugene? His boutonier lost a rose, so I'm trying to create a um, sort of backup boutonier look with some of these bouquet flowers. This is Keith's other brother who we haven't met yet. I'm the reason he's who he is. My senior year of high school, I went on a cruise to the Bahamas, and I came back with a conch shell. During pep rallies in high school, he started wearing a garbage bag and blowing on his conch horn. Apparently, he likes an absolute sensation, and that's how he got started performing in front of people all the time. I planted that seed. I am responsible for everything you've seen so far. So basically, if it weren't for that conch shell, there'd be no Try Guys. There would be nothing. How you feeling, Keith? Good. Ah, Guess we're all here. On the brink of emotion constantly. Red leather, yellow oh. leather. Let it out when you get to the altar. Yeah. I have to wait till Becky's there at least. If I can make it that long. <laughs> You'll make it. You feeling good? I feel great. I just feel like I'm constantly about to cry for nothing. Don't worry. You're going to cry for something. Yeah, that's true. Right now, though, there's no reason to start crying. No, no, no. So. no okay. Of course, there's right. reason to start so, crying. It's about no, to happen. The wedding is two minutes away. Yeah, I, I can't start now. Okay. Think non-emotional thoughts like the state of the world. No. Okay, that's not. Oh, oh, that's no. a different kind of emotion. Okay, I think about emotion. think about Zach naked, just wagging his yeah. leg and his pee. I can sad. do that right now. So sad. So, no, just be like, so, sad. <laughs> so beautiful. When did you know that Keith was the one for Becky? Oh, I would say after a few months of dating, and then we met him, and he was really sweet, kind-hearted, and Becky really never talked about her boyfriends before, and just wanted us to meet him. She loves her Keith. Yeah, she loves her Keith, and Keith loves her. I love him! And he's funny. And he's very funny. And she's funny. So they're very funny together. Yeah. yeah. You gotta keep it together. Eugene's been saying this for a week. He's yeah. like, if Keith cries, I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm like yeah. on the verge of crying all the time this weekend. Are we gonna cry? I mean, I'm gonna try to be the last bastion of I don't, Try Guys Rank. I don't think I cry. Sure. I would love to cry for you. I just, if you I don't, don't have it's not, personal. it's not a, <laughs> It's not a requirement. I just I feel bad if I don't cry. I want to cry. It's okay. You don't My have Eugene to cry. kind of threw it out like a challenge. Now I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna cry. Try guys, try crying. Yeah. yeah. Ricky Hashmeyer, I am here today to celebrate and support the union of Becky Miller, daughter of Don and Kim Miller, and Keith Haversberger, son of Don and Patty's Haversberger. Six years ago, you took me on our first date. 
went for hot dogs and then watched Wrestling with Brian. <laughs> I sat there pretending to like wrestling. I thought to myself, this is kind of a strange date. <laughs> but it didn't matter how strange the date was, because it only took me a few minutes to see how kind, caring, and special you are. I promise I'll always save you half of my fried chicken. I promise I will always have your back and take care of you. I promise I will always go dancing with you, even when we're 50 and tired from taking care of our 25 rescue dogs. <laughs> and I promise to love you forever and ever, and even a little bit after that. <laughs> Every time I've been in a wedding, I watch other people get married. <laughs> I see other people read their vows, and I can only think about reading my vows. I see each other kiss for the first time when they're married, and I can only think about marrying you. We've been together for six years, and I knew I loved you before you agreed to go on a date with me. And I've always known I loved you, but I didn't know that I couldn't live without you until I moved away from you for a year. <laughs> I never thought I could feel so much for a person as you. And I just desperately need you to take care of me because I'm a mess all the time. <laughs> I have been tremendously lucky to be surrounded by so many great friends, a supportive family, a supportive new family, and so many people who are important to me but no one is important to me, and nothing is as important to me as you. I wrote something. <laughs> but it's long and repetitive. And ultimately, I just want to promise you that I will love you forever. I will always show you affection. I will always be happy to come home to you after work. I will always be sad to leave you when I go to work. I will always care for you if you were sick or hurt. I will always celebrate you and celebrate with you when you are happy. And most importantly, promise to be your best friend. Because you are my best friend. And all of these things are promises I have to make, but they're things that I have no intention of ever not making. Because I love you so much, and I'll never stop. They got me. Not a dry eye in the house. Did you cry? Oh my god, so much. I, I probably don't have makeup on right now. Guys, <laughs> I'm fucking crying. I didn't I thought I wasn't gonna cry, but Keith got me. Man, marriage is beautiful. Marriage is beautiful, Zach. Where are you? I cried. Did you cry? Yeah. I cried so fucking much. Oh my god. How, how are you doing? I did I I think I did great. This is, this is a big day for me. Right I think now. are they already like are they doing it already? They're Where are they? consummating it. Oh, wow, yeah. that's fast. Wow. They're going to have the baby in nine months. They consummate immediately. Yay! Yay. We did it. My wife! Keith, have you been able to eat it all? No. You want a bite? I'm honored to have gotten a glimpse at the love that you guys have for each other. And I just know that it's just like the tip of the iceberg. And that that's, your relationship is just so much deeper and, and stronger than anything that I can ever see from the outside. And uh, congratulations. Well, fuck, I can't top that. Becky? Yes? We made a Try Guys video at your wedding. <laughs> We're sorry, Rude. <laughs> but I think we should end it with you because it's your day and it's your white marriage. It's about so did I think you say white marriage? <laughs> it's your white marriage. Okay, this was a vlog. It was a vlog. <laughs> 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 <laughs>